This is question number 22 and it's an asterisk question. We're told A, B, C and D are points on the circumference of a circle sent O. Angle AOC is equal to Y. We're asked to find the size of angle ABC in terms of Y. We're asked to give a reason for each stage of our working. The question carries four marks. Let's start with this angle first, and this angle is ADC. Angles at the centre are double that at the circumference. So what I'm going to just write here is now angles, so angles at the centre, so angles at the centre are double, so are double that at the circumference, at the circumference. So I'm just jotting this down for my reason. Therefore, what I can say, and using the sign for therefore, we can say angle, and I'm using the angle notation, ADC will be equal to one half y or y over two. And I'm just going to write it as y over two. So that's this angle just here. So let's go ahead and put that on. This angle is going to be one half y or y divided by two. I'm now going to look at this angle, and this angle is ABC. We know the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral equal 180 degrees. So let's just go ahead and jot that down. So we can say now opposite angles. So opposite angles, so opposite angles in a cyclic or cyclic if you like, cyclic quadrilateral, quadrilateral, uh, quadrilateral equal 180 degrees. Therefore, what I'm going to have now is angle ABC will be equal to 180 minus Y over 2 or 1 half Y. So if these two angles, let's just jot this on, if these two angles equal up to 180, this will be 180 minus Y over 2. So that gives us the angle ABC, and I've written down clearly why I've used each value in the steps that I've done. So final answer, the angle ABC in terms of Y is 180 minus Y over 2 degrees, and that question carries four months. A few different ways that you could do that, essentially some justification, and this is your final answer, will give you the full marks.